Sarah Christine Fowler, also known just simply as Sarah Fowler, was suggested in the comments section recently. With a little research, I found out that she is often compared to Alex Doreen, although that was said in the comment as well. I've made a video about Alex previously, although I hadn't heard of Sarah. But let's talk about her online disappearance. Sarah started her channel on August 23rd, 2014, and prior to the channel disappearing in 2021, she had 55k subscribers, uploaded 43 videos, and had 1.4 million views on her channel, according to Social Blade. I say that the channel disappeared, but there's conflicting information about that, because if you go to the channel, it says this channel is not available via the URLs that are available at least. There's a link to a video of hers that I found on the Wayback Machine, and it says that the video is private, which would imply that the channel still exists, even though it apparently doesn't. And what I know, if there's a video uploaded by a channel that has been removed, it says this video was uploaded by a person who has since terminated their channel or something like that. There's different variations depending on if you delete your channel or if it was terminated or if you privated it, if it got copyright claimed, if it got copyright strike. None of that implies that she deleted it. Information about Sarah is very scarce since she left, but here's what I found. The Twitter somewhat exists, they are old at least, which you can see here. It links the main account, but that doesn't exist anymore. Although in saying that, the old account has no tweets, so I guess it does exist, but it's not active at all. The Instagram that was linked to her YouTube before its removal, I don't believe is her. Although the account exists, I assume it was reclaimed with zero posts, zero followers, and zero following. There's also one save of her Facebook page from 2019 on the Wayback Machine. Although it links one video, it can't be viewed, but it does also link a Twitch account. Although inactive now, it was not linked anywhere else outside of the Facebook page from everything that I came across in my travels. On Twitch, she has 254 followers, but hasn't streamed for four years. A fan account exists entitled Sarah underscore series, which has a bunch of videos of her from social media accounts when she was still active. Active. There's more than one fan account by the way, but that's the main one that I saw. In a save from 2018 on the Wayback Machine, she also listed a You Now and a Depop. I didn't look into the You Now, but we'll talk about the Depop a little bit later in the video, towards the end. She was also a part of the Emo Kids Club, which had a Instagram account, which is still up, and a YouTube channel, which is also still up. In the last save of her Instagram account, the bio has an at, which is bizdo, and it has a heart, and she had posted about bizdo prior to her leaving the internet. But it seems that he has also disappeared off the internet. Although not all hope is lost, because a lot of bits of content were re-uploaded to a channel that made fan edits of Sarah called Sarah Defense Squad. And she also has a cameo account, although it's temporarily unavailable and has no reviews ever. Her Ask FM also still exists, but I don't have an account on there, so I can't read it, but I just thought I'd let you know. Outside of this, I was able to recover one full video on the Wayback Machine, and there are other videos of her on other channels and other people's channels and whatnot that you can watch if you want to see her. The video that I recovered, I don't recall what the video is. I found it when someone mentioned it in the comment initially a few weeks ago, but I don't recall how I got to it. But that's what you can see in the background of the video now. So what happened to Sarah? Why did she leave? And where on earth is she? Well, there isn't too much information, but I did find something that gives answers. As I said before, I talked about her Depop, and it turns out it's very important to this story, because it is still active. In fact, it was active today, in fact. And while every main social media account of hers with the old usernames doesn't exist, or barely exists in the case of the old account with zero tweets, it seems like she has changed her name name on social media, because what is linked in the Depop is a different Instagram account. 
It's called Sarah MMITG and it's private. MMITG is short for Meet Me in the Graveyard, by the way, which is the username that she used to use back when she was active. A bit like in the Alex video, I am not following her, although I've sent her a follow request, so I don't know how active she actually is, and I don't know if she's done anything recently, so I can't exactly update you on everything. But she does have an account, it does have posts, and it has over 100,000 followers, and I'm pretty sure from what I can tell that she's good and if she isn't well I hope she is because I wish everyone the best yeah. But if you're wondering about Sarah Fowler hopefully this video gives you some answers. Let me know in the comments section if there's anyone else you want me to talk about whether they're emo or not. Thanks for watching this video leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new and I'll see you soon for the next video.